Hey guys, and welcome to another review. Um, to the official, my official review of the uh, WZM Cygnus. I believe this is the only review that's going to be out on the market at the moment. On the market? on In, in the internet um, at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. You know, obviously check out the description, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Although I'll just say that at the end of the video because I'm not one of those guys. Anyways, back into it. Um, yeah, this thing, availability-wise, uh, it's a 10 out of 10. It's a brilliant knife. Uh, it's super available, really easy to obtain. Um, <clears throat> you, know, you can get it off of Colosong, AliExpress, uh, One Balasong, basically any merchant that sells Balasong clones. Um, you can, you know, you can get one of these off of. Um, when it comes to its looks, I personally think that this thing is absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, design-wise, I mean, it is. It's the LDY Cygnus, and uh, <laughs> I'll be real with you, it is practically one to one. The blade is slightly different, um, but for example, the hardware is interchangeable. This hardware isn't great. You know, if I'm to keep this, I don't think I will, but if I were to keep this as just a modding one, I would probably put in the actual LDY hardware because the LDY hardware is good. Um, I'd probably swap over the spaces so you get a bit more handle bias for this and a bit more blade bias for the real Anyways, Anyways, um, after that, yeah, so looks wise, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. It's pretty much one to one. I think the only thing is, like, the, the blade is basically slightly different. That's, that's why they've made the changes. The handles are indistinguishable from each other. Which I think is kind of cool, um, but is what it is. It's kind of cool, but also kind of sad uh, because obviously, you know, clones and that. Um, on to tolerances. It's got no tap. There is the play. So I think out of the box, the, the tolerances on this, they're going to get probably like a nine and a half. Uh, no, we'll say a 9. It's a very good clone. Obviously, these things can probably come with tap. Um, definitely tunable. Um, you know, there is a fair bit of gap. Uh, that's just a sandwich knife thing. It's tunable. It just takes some time, takes some patience, some disassembly, some reassembly, all of that good stuff. Um, although, you know, mine, mine came really well out of the box, thanks to clone support. Yeah, uh, thanks to clone support, you put a, a lovely tune on here. Uh, to the point where I actually have no clue which screws are the male and the female on the pivots. And so I literally, like, I, I don't want to take this apart because then I have to, you know, risk having to swap in new washers. And then I just don't want to tune it. I want to just keep it like this because it's really good. It flips really well. Um, yeah, when it comes to sound... This thing sounds absolutely amazing. Um, almost like the real deal, to be honest. It's a little bit, I mean, we've got the real deal here. Uh, here's, here's a sound comparison for you. This is a little louder, a little. It's, it sounds like it's made of titanium, to be honest. Um, They sound different, but that's literally just the material difference. Other than that, they are scary, scarily similar sounding. Um, and for the sound, I'm gonna give it like a solid like seven. Um, it's not my favorite sound. It does sound good though. I wish it sounded, you know, I think a bamboo rep is probably like, when I say bamboo rep, I don't mean a rep made of bamboo. I mean like a rep with like carbon spaces. Um, I love the sound that reps make when they sound like kind of hollow, like bamboo-y. I think that's my favorite sandwich style sound. Um, obviously, nothing beats kind of charm, which knife sounds, but um, yeah, this thing it, it's really good. And now on to my favorite bit, flipping. Uh, this thing flips really, really, really well. Uh, the balance is very neutral, but like the teensiest hint of blade bias. However, it is okay. He says as he loses a chaplain. That's just me being a bit too excited. Um, yeah, no, this thing it flips. Super telepathically for me, I say as I mess up for tricks. But um, no, this thing is probably one of my favorite balances on a knife. Um, it's not super exaggerated, it is super neutral, but it will still, um, well, it will still do rollovers perfectly fine, you know, as we fail to helix. I don't know why, it's whenever I film a video. It is also like absolutely boiling in this room. I think the humidities are like 83% today, and it's not even particularly hot, but um. Yeah, it is, it is just, anyways, yeah, it'll, it'll do rollovers perfectly fine, um, chaplains really well, yeah, standard chaplain, reverse vertical, you know, 
does does all of that and the fanning oh fanning on this knife is absolutely phenomenal um so yeah for flipping honestly i'm probably going to give this a nine out of ten um i think the only thing that flips better would have to be the one tsunami um that remains king of clones but this is probably second place um especially if you want something that's aluminium something that's a little bit cheaper obviously this is by no means a cheap aluminium clone it's definitely on the higher side for especially for aluminium but it's g10 aluminium uh and we'll just wait for the comparison between this and the real cygnus because this thing is crazy for what you pay for it um so yeah, for flipping, definitely a very high score. Tolerances, very high score. Overall, this thing, I have to say, it is an absolutely phenomenal knife. Um, would I recommend buying one? Honestly, yes. If you want something that's just going to be like a coup de grace to your collection, to be honest, I was picking this up a lot more than uh, I was expecting to. Um, like, this thing is absolutely insane. Uh, I think especially because it's, it is a bit cheaper as well. So these aren't... They're not disposable, but they are easily replaceable, right? They're always available. You know, it's going to be super easy to um, do stuff for this. And I mean, yeah, you can order hardware for this. Like, it's it's just brilliant. Um, this thing, it is absolutely phenomenal. So I would recommend this for sure. I think this is a very good... If you want to get into, like, high-end Balson clones, this thing definitely flips. Maybe triple the price. Uh, it, it flips really well. Um, like... To the point where, if I'm perfectly honest with you, I would flip this, and then I would flip my Prisma, and obviously the Prisma is a trainer, right? Like Prisma is in trainer form, not not Prisma Opus. But um, I would be like, you know what? I I can't guarantee that I, you know, I would say, yeah, I prefer flipping the Prisma, but there's a hesitation at that point. That's kind of how I'd put this, because um, obviously this is better materials. Um, I say better. So obviously the machining isn't as good, right? It's not as high quality. Um, but it is 7075. It is a fair bit cheaper than the Prisma. I'd say it's actually half the price uh, if you're buying in the UK slash Europe um, of the V1 Prisma when it was the only Prisma. And now I believe it's a little bit cheaper. But um, honestly, uh, I, was, I was like, you know what? This thing is surprisingly good. And I, I really, really like it. And I kind of didn't like how much I liked it. Because I was like, oh, the Prism is always going to be like my, my king of, of kind of, you know, everyday ballad songs that I just flip all the time, everywhere, no matter where I am, right? Um, obviously, this I don't take outside because false edge and just, yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, no. And so until the Prism became Prism Opus, this thing was truly what I was flipping just all the time. Um, and then Prism Opus was like, oh, a game changer. That thing, mate, wait till you get the review on that. That thing is insane. Like, if you can get your hands on one, I'll just tell you now. Just do it. Um, it's a game changer. Uh, but yeah, honestly, this this is a super, super good knife. It is pretty... I don't know if I'd say it's competitive, but I would say it is. I think um, definitely if you want to be doing advanced tricks, this thing will handle them with absolute ease like a pro. It is fairly grippy, although the aluminium is also fairly slippery. So I will say ladders are probably this thing's weak spot. Um... But, I mean, the G10 is solid. It's nothing special. It's, you know, not particularly fancy G10. But it, it's, it's good. It, it works. Um, it definitely does its job. It really is needed on a belly like this where it's effectively smooth elsewhere. I mean, yeah, this is not quite smooth, but, like, the, really, the milling doesn't do much for aluminium. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm going to conclude this video. Because, uh, yeah, this thing is honestly just, just super impressive. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've, you know, you've garnered something from this little review here. Uh, if you want to pick one of these up, go ahead. I mean, I, I could not recommend it further. If you want a good Balasong clone, it is truly amazing. I believe it is better than the, the Tiangqi or Yangxiang, uh, Yangxing or um, Apocalypse. I don't know what they want to call themselves. The company that makes the other Cygnus clone that has the Bowie Blade. I'm kind of hoping that what it is that I make one with the Bowie Blade because I, it, it's really growing on me. Um, even though I, I don't want it on the actual Cygnus, I really like the look of the Bowie Blade. Um, I want to be able to buy just the blade. That would be nice. But yeah, so that's kind of how this has gone. You know, check out the description. Um, I've got music in there. 
got other things. Instagram, if you want to, you know, do stuff. Leave a comment down below about questions about this. Uh, maybe not so much comment about comparing this with the real Cygnus, because obviously that shall be coming in its own dedicated video very soon. Keep your eyes peeled on that. I just got to spend a bit more time with this. I got to play around with it a little more. Um, and yeah, I will keep you guys definitely updated. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, if you want to see more videos like this, see more, see more comparisons. And also, surprise battle song, right? The mystery battle song that has been, you know, here and there on the channel. Um, unveiled September 1st. So stay tuned.